Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival Season 2 my friends. We're on the fifth episode and once again a massive thank you for the support you showed in the last episode. Very much appreciated folks. I hope you're all having a great day and guys if you're excited for the episode as always a big old thumbs up would be the best way to support the series. Now today my friends what we are going to be doing is we are going to be continuing this little pathway here. Basically what's going to happen is it is going to go down sort of in a like a semicircle kind of thing it's going to go down in a semicircle kind of like a spiral staircase but only like half of a circle and it's going to go down way down to here it may wind up coming out like here or something and then what i intend on doing is i intend on making a start on a little bit of a pathway and some decorations for this underhang area because of course we have a the overhang which is where the main house is and you know the jungle temples right there but we haven't got a great deal of stuff going on out the front here and i think it would be a very nice idea to put some stuff out the front you know we could have some little mini waterfalls we could have a pathway it's gonna look amazing guys it really really is so, what we need to do is we need to head back up top. Ah, oh, yeah. Head back up top, and then what we need to do is make a little bit of a start in this thing. Hopefully not, uh, you know, take a damage and stuff. That would suck. Well, with that all said and done, maybe what I could do... I mean, we've got this pathway over here, which is leading off to that newly flattened area. Actually, this is something I've done since the last episode. If I just show you guys real quick, as you can see, it's decorated pretty nicely. Got some ferns, some little bushes here and there. And it goes over to this area here, which I did go ahead and uh, deforestate. De deforest, de deforest, I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a bit of an area here which we could build in as well. It was already pretty, pretty flat terrain. I just decided to sort of finish it off. So we've got ourselves a nice area here where we could potentially make something. Now, of course, I'm not going to make it completely flat. I mean, you know, we've still got this sort of area here which we could potentially decorate and or leave as is. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff we could do, my friends. There really, really is. But... Why I was hesitating just a minute ago with regards to that pathway is if I was to quickly grab out some stairs, uh, yep, a little bit of the stairage action, maybe what we could actually do, okay, bear with me, maybe what we could actually do is have the pathway leading up there and then have it sort of spout off the side here and then make it go down, huh? Does that sound like a good idea? I feel like that sounds like a good idea. So maybe, for example, we flatten out this little area here. This is the intersection. And then this place here is like the start of the cave that goes down. Does that make sense to you guys? I feel like it makes sense. I hope so, anyway. That's the intention. So, uh, as well as going ahead and grabbing the oak stairs, we're going to need some oak slabs as well, because oak wood, in my opinion, matches best with the path blocks we've got going on here. So, how about we go ahead and grab some more of these bad boys out, and how about we also grab out some grass blocks, so we can start making path blocks as we go along. And before we get anything done, a good old sleep for the big day ahead, I think is in order. All right, guys, so I have been a busy bee since the last cut. I've made a whole bunch of progress, but uh, we're actually going to need to go to sleep again. Well, I feel like I've slept in the last, like, two times in the 20 seconds. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> well, good morning to you skeletons. It's nice to see you burning up over there. Wow, I knew I had that effect on the zombies, but not the skeletons. Wow, I must be really attractive or something. No, not really. Anyways... <laughs> Oh dear. Anyways, guys, check this out. I have made a bunch of progress since the last cut. I decided to go ahead and do some of the more mundane stuff off camera. Uh, you know, digging of the tunnel and all that kind of stuff. But uh, check this out, guys. What I decided instead of making this go up here and therefore me having to alter quite a lot of the terrain is I decided to try and make the pathway match the terrain. So uh, we got like a little bit of a cliff going on here, but it doesn't mean we can't get something going here that looks good, right? So we've got ourselves a bit of an intersection here. We can go left to go down to the shore. Or we could go up here, which is going to go to whatever place. I haven't really decided where this is going to go to yet. Aside from, you know, in the jungle. The mighty jungle. The lion sleeps there. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm never I'm, I'm never doing that again. Anyways, so we've got ourselves a tunnel going here. It goes down the curve here. And then down here. And here we go. We're down at the shore. And things are looking good. Yeah. So, here's the plan. We've got ourselves some oak planks, uh, oak slabs, whatever you want to call them. 
We're going to bring them over this way. We're going to have ourselves a nice little walkway. And it's going to come to over here. I'm not entirely sure what I want to connect it up to, though. Maybe we could have, like, a mini tunnel uh, going to the back area over there. Maybe we move that little sugarcane plantation somewhere else and have that be a pathway instead. What do you guys think? Should we move the sugarcane plantation? I feel like it would be a good idea to because I kind of want to I kind of want to link them up like have the pathway come into this temple. I mean that would make logical sense, wouldn't it? Right? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm just trying to think of plans. I'm just trying to think of plans, my friends. So, uh, let's grab out some of these here slabs. Slabaroos. Yes, indeed. I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of these. Rather like that. And then we're going to begin doing a little bit of pathway action. Yeah, that beautiful pathway action. Right, do we think we could... Uh, do you guys think that using some bark blocks might be a cool idea? I mean, I'm down for this. What do you guys think? I think it works pretty well. Maybe as we go along, we could have some regular jungle logs, you know, the, the non-bark form, have them sticking up and they be the supports in the water, right? I mean, again, that would make logical sense for the for the little walkway to have some sort of support. Uh, ah, I don't have a lot of uh, jungle logs left. I rather messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, fences. Uh, yeah, we got some fences. Jungle. Uh, it would be nice if I could plant down some spruce trees. I feel like spruce might go pretty well with the bark blocks or even dark oak for that matter. I feel like all of those things might go pretty well. Anyways, what I was talking about is maybe every now and again, we could have a bit of a pillar going up like this. Yeah? What do you guys think about that? I think that looks pretty cool. So maybe we do it like every uh, five or so blocks. So maybe one, two, three, four, five. And then we have another little support down here. Make it go all the way down into the water to give the immersion that it is in fact supported. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got some oak planks left. Uh, hmm. Right, my inventory is getting clogged with a capital C. It is insane. Right, anyways, uh, more of these. Yes, 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 yes. And then we bring it around there. Except what I may actually have to do is, again, get rid of the uh, sugar cane because it is rather in the way at this point. <laughs> uh, we're going to need to move the stuff, man. We don't need it all. We just don't need it. There we go. But yeah, we're going to continue the pathway coming all the way around here because why not? Just want to make it look nice, make it look, you know, functionally correct. Functionally correct? Does that make sense? I have no idea. But we just want to make it look nice. So, yeah. Okay, so once again, if we just grab out the uh, bark block. So this is two blocks, three, four, five. And then maybe we have a support right here. There we go. You see, we're making plays, aren't we? And then two, three, four, five. And then maybe another little support right there. And then that can go along like that. I mean, even just doing that. I mean, even just that. It's made it look a lot better, isn't it? It's given it some proper supports. It's looking good. So we're definitely going to need some fences on top of these bark blocks. Maybe a little something to top off the, uh, the, the wood pillars maybe maybe some leaves or maybe some slabs or something uh what if we just use some of these hmm i don't like the fact that oak i think there's a bit too much oak going on now in which case uh what if we use some jungle slabs i think that might work pretty nicely right boom boom yeah i like the subtle difference in the coloration of the wood i think that looks really really nice okay not bad, not bad. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and continue work on this. I'm going to need to get myself a bunch of resources from various places. We might have to deforest data a little bit more. Oh, dear. But anyways, let's go ahead and make some progress, my friends. And we shall be back for a progress update shortly. Hey, so how about it, guys? Progress update time, and I've gone ahead. I actually replaced the bark blocks with stone bricks because I wanted to, once again, stick to the color palette. And I completely forgot that stone and cobblestone was part of it. And in my opinion, this looks a lot better than with the bark blocks. The bark blocks made it look a bit too blocky, whereas with the stairs and the fences, there's a little bit more depth to the build, isn't there? And it's looking pretty nice. So I've tried to mix in some various different blocks to the palette as well. You know, we've got some uh, mossy cobble fences as well as the regular cobble fences. And if I were to... There we go. If I was to just come over here, try and land without taking damage. 
Ah, okay, there we go. But yeah, as you can see, I've also tried to implement just a tiny bit of color over here as well, in that we have some of the oak slabs replaced with jungle slabs, you know, again, just to give it a little bit of color. Got some vines on various bits of bobs, and just all in all, it's looking pretty nice. We've got this place connected up now. We just need to, you know, make a start on, uh, you know, making the area where this is going to be going to, or making the tunnel to where that's going to be going to. And then, of course, we need to work on the tunnel itself to make it look nice. But check this out, guys. I have accidentally made a vine ladder. So, yeah, I could just go up here if I wanted to go up top. I don't even need to go up the stairs. Um, so, in which case, what the heck was the point in this episode, right? <laughs> oh, I kid, I kid. I just want this place to look good, man. I really, really do. Like I say, I don't normally build in jungle biomes. So, you know, I want this, my first time doing this properly, to, to go well. Like, I don't want it to look... Awful, you know what I'm saying? I want it to look nice. So yeah, I think the best way to look at this is actually from the sky I know we just uh, flew but we didn't really have a look at it did we? So how about we just pop up here real quick have a little bit of a fly go out and then come back in Yeah, you see This is looking amazing, dude. I am very very glad I made a start on this project by putting a pathway down here. It's made this look a lot more sort of official, like it is like a proper settlement, right? That's looking really, really good. Now, of course, we could go ahead and add some more texture into the walls there by putting in some cobblestone, maybe some andesite, or maybe we could just, like, put some vines and such on it, mossy cobble. Uh, like I said, maybe some waterfalls. You know, there's lots of things we could do to this wall to make it look more interesting, right? So how about... I go ahead, I get a selection of blocks on me, and we try to do something together. Alright guys, so we've got a large blank canvas going on here. I've actually replaced any of these stones other than regular stone with regular stone. And as a result, like I say, we've got a nice blank canvas to work with this. So, why don't we make a bit of a start on some various bits of bobs. Let's say over here, we have a little bit of a waterfall. I mean, why not? So, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's coal in here. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, not the end of the world, I guess. So, let's go put some water in there. We'll grab another bucket, put that in there. Uh, maybe what we do now is grab some glowstone, chuck it behind there, just so there's a little bit of light being produced. There we go. Looking good already, isn't it, guys? So, how about a little bit of cobblestone around the outside to make it look sort of cracked as if, uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure as if... <laughs> Not sure what to compare it to, really, but I, I don't know. I think this is just going to look good. So why don't we do a little bit like that? And then maybe at the bottom we have some uh, some fences. Uh, maybe we'll make that go down yet another block. And then what that'll mean is I could do this, this, and then put some fences on top of it rather like that. I mean, even just that, even just a tiny little thing like that, in my opinion, has made this place look a little bit nicer, right? I mean, it just does. It just does. Okay, so how about we go ahead and replace the interior walls with stone bricks. Make it look, again, just a little bit nicer. Okay, looking good. Uh, let's do the same over this side. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to do the ceiling real quick. Okay, and I mean, we can, I guess, see that down there. So let's go ahead and uh, replace that. And there we go, guys. A very, very basic little waterfall. Even just that by itself has spruced up the area quite a lot. So, how about we start making some indents in some random places and then add in a little bit of decoration. So, how about we just go ahead and, uh, you know, just do a little bit of this. Maybe we could put some grass down. That is not grass. That is walls. <laughs> Try that again. So, we've got some grass here. Uh, we could do a little bit of that. Maybe what we do is we place some grass in like that. Maybe on some of them we can have some leaves. Uh, maybe we can have a leaf there. And how about a little bit of the fern action there, eh? Not looking bad, is it? Not looking bad. Maybe even what we could do is hide a little bit of glowstone back there. I mean, it's not strictly hidden, I guess. Oh, darn it. Well, uh, I'm being a dum-dum. Ugh. I can misplace the blocks like a noob. But yeah, it's not strictly hidden, but it will produce a decent amount of light, which is really, really nice. Okay, so how about next we start introducing some different textures? How about we start introducing in some andesite? I think this would be a nice little touch. Uh, maybe we do it in tiny little clusters here and there. So a little cluster like that. Uh, maybe we come over here, have another little cluster. Or in this case, it kind of looks like those two are connected. In fact, why don't we go the whole hog and then do that? Yeah? 
That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? That looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe one there behind it. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Okay, uh, so how about over here? Maybe we could introduce a couple of little bits of grass over here as well to make it look good. So, let's do exactly that. I am getting... What the... Uh... Oh. Mr. Squiddy just died. Squidward just died, ladies and gentlemen! That is morbid. What the heck? There's children watching, man! Why would that be the case? What? Oh, this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Squidward just died because he decided that it would be a great idea if he went ahead and tried to go inside my ocelot cat cave! How dare he? <laughs> oh dear. But there we go. That's looking good, isn't it? That is looking good. How about we do another little one here? I mean, this is like the entrance to the connector, the, the tunnel towards the, the thing. So, you know, that's cool. But yeah, again, looking good, isn't it? Dude, I could, I honestly think that this place is going to look amazing once it's done. Uh, those bits of uh, andesite obviously are going to be replaced or gotten rid of, actually. So, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. I broke the blocks. I'm a bad person. Uh, all right. Well, let's get you. Ah, uh, why? Why you do this, man? Come on. Right, let's get you placed down there. Uh, how about we make you double tall? Um, maybe we make this fern double tall as well. Yeah, a little bit of height variation. Okay, so now we've got this wall here. Maybe we can do a little something with this. Maybe another little waterfall, or maybe. Here's what I'm thinking. I mean, we do need to bear in mind that the tunnel is here and we need to decorate this uh, probably in the next episode at this point. But we've got a decent amount of space here. Maybe uh, what we could do, uh, let's start it there in fact. Maybe what we do is a little bit of a nature area. Huh? Maybe we have a slightly larger area of grass on the inside of this. Maybe we could have a waterfall again inside it. Uh, we're just adding a bit of greenery, guys. That is the that is the fact of the matter. That's what we're doing here. So, what if we start placing some of this in? Yeah, looking good, looking good. Uh, let's grab or get rid of this stone real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe in this corner we have a tiny bit higher bit. Yeah, that's looking cool. Okay, and then maybe, uh, let's say, uh, completely randomly, let's say there maybe, uh, we put a piece of dirt down there, or a bit of glowstone. Hey, a little bit of glowstone. Yep, hiding lighting again. You see? Coming up with all these plans, man. It's looking good, isn't it? So we've got that little thing going on there. Maybe we could have like a, a little bush next to it. Uh, maybe we could have a tiny little thing going on there. Uh, what if I bring the grass down a little bit? Would that look cool? Yeah, it does. It does. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, could I maybe hide another bit of glowstone in there? I'm thinking maybe in here. Huh? Is that a cool idea? And then maybe we put another leaf like that. Yeah, except now I've done it. I just ruined things. I ruined everything, guys. That's it. Well, I've ruined things. Oh, no. Jeez, man. Uh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Maybe we wrap that round rather like that. Yeah, okay. And finally, let's go ahead and work on the interior walls here. We'll use a... Co I think we'll use a combo... Uh, I can't even talk now. We'll use a combination of cobblestone and stone bricks. Yes, that's a good idea, Python. Right, let's get this thing done, shall we? Hey, and how about it, ladies and gentlemen? We have converted the bottom section into a lovely, luscious, naturistic walking area. And it's looking amazing, dudes! I hope you have enjoyed this little mini sub-project we've done today. As you can see, we've got some cobblestone and mossy cobble in the walls. I think probably the only other thing I may do in today's episode is uh, spread some vines just a little bit. Not too many. I don't think we're going to need too many, but I think it'll be a nice idea to uh, get some out anyway. So, let's get back on the pathway so we can actually get back up. And uh, away we go. Alright, so, guys, while we're doing this, we're going to jump into the comment question of the video before ending this thing off, of course. So, it is coming from Waffle Scented Jimmy. That is an awesome name you got there, buddy. Did he turn off subs? Now, I didn't actually announce me doing this, but what I have done is I haven't... I haven't, like, turned off subs, like, the ability to subscribe to a channel. What I have done, though, is I have turned off the visible, the public subscriber count. 
And the reason I've done that, it was actually kind of inspired by uh, Vintage Beef because he also has his public sub count disabled. And he brought up some very, very good points in uh, some of his recent Minecraft videos. And the reason why I did it is because I don't want my channel or the quality of my content to be based upon my sub count, okay? And the other reason is because... <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't really want the whole your channel is dead comments coming in and if people can't see the sub count then away we go, you know, we're, we're totally fine on that front. I know it's a bit of a silly thing really, but seeing comments like that is one of the most demotivating things a YouTuber can see and it is genuinely not a nice thing to say. It's not a good thing for people's motivation or anything like that. So if you are someone who goes around saying, oh hey your channel's dead, you should probably just quit then uh, the only thing that should quit is you saying those kinds of things because like I say it doesn't bode well for a youtuber's mindset uh, you know going into making a bunch of videos so yeah but you know like I say the reason I turned it off is because I don't want my channel or my content to be judged upon my sub count I want people to enjoy my content for me the game that I'm playing I don't want them to judge it by oh hey this has only got like 1,000 views therefore it it's failing on the this channel. Like, I don't care, man. I don't care. What I do care about is reconnecting with my audience. Like, I don't really care about the fact I've got so many inactive subscribers. What I want to do going forward is focus on the subscribers and the viewership that I have. Like, right now, I want to interact with you guys. I don't want to be dwelling on the numbers of people who are not active on the channel in my subscriber base. And that's just, that's what it comes down to, really. So, me turning off the public sub count is my way of saying, I want to reconnect with you guys. So, yeah. And hey-ho, it kind of gives an element of surprise as well. Like, you know... You know, one random day I might put up a video that says, Oh, hey, I've got 400,000 subscribers. Because, you know, at the time of me recording this, I am actually close to it. I'm, I'm at 387,000 subscribers. But, again, you guys don't know that. I could be speaking gobbledygook. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when the day does come, when I do put up a milestone video, then, yeah, at that point, you will know what's going on. I may do, like, special events here and there where maybe my sub count is visible. Maybe I can, you know, turn it into a positive thing. But, I don't know. I don't know. It could be pretty interesting. But, guys, anyways, like, I say we are going to be ending the episode there. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, I mean, come on, you got to drop a like button for this epic looking walkway now, man. This is looking really nice. It was just a bland underhang and I've converted it into something a little more pretty. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, a big fat thumbs up, as always, would be much appreciated to show your support for the series. Hit the subscribe button if you do not want to miss out on future content. And guys, that's got to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate your continued support really just mean the world to me. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and guys, I'll see you in the next episode.